It's a great day. I replaced my belly band with something a little more uh, stronger, okay? Well, at the age of 14, he turned his dad's broken lawnmower into his first piece of armor. Today, he takes people on a journey back in time, creating unique and historically accurate pieces from the 15th and 16th century. With us today is Dees Armstrong, owner of Azure Armory. Hi. Hi there. Good to meet you. Okay, we could have gotten in trouble as kids because I took apart some stuff, too, but oh, I didn't really? create anything quite like this. Uh, what was it about armor that intrigued you? Well, when I was a little kid, I did a lot of role playing mm -hmm. and uh, fighting with swords and whatnot. And I really just enjoyed wearing the armor and seeing it, so I had to start making it myself because, you know, that's how you get it. Yeah. Okay, this is amazing stuff. And you well, make it you. for all kinds of folks. Uh, there are people who are collectors, collectors uh, there are historians, yeah. and then, of course, we've seen those reenactments that have been done as well. And this is what they'll wear. For sure, for sure. Okay, show us how you do this. And you say you're not a, you're not a blacksmith, you're a whitesmith? Whitesmith, yeah. Okay. That's where I do everything cold, no okay. fire. Okay. All right, and so how do you conceive the ideas? Do you look at historical pictures and things? Well, everything comes from basically museum photos. Uh, I'll start off with a paper pattern and then transfer it to metal, mm -hmm. cut it out into a pattern like this. Yeah. Uh, then we take the hammers and we form it against an anvil on the offset strike. And what's interesting about this, I, when I was in England and Scotland and Ireland, mm -hmm. and we went to the castles and things, and we saw these, you know, these knights costumes like this, or not costumes, but they, they were, they were yeah, their uniforms armor, or suits yeah. of armor back then, um, how they had to be specifically made for people because you'd see that it was fit to size, right? That's exactly correct. This is amazing. Okay, so you, you so kind of... So once it's kind of formed, we'll get it to where it looks like this with a process called plenishing. That's where we take all the big dings out, make it nice and smooth. And once we're here, we have to do all the riveting together, which is where we assemble it. This one's almost done. I figured you'd give me a hand. We'll finish it up. Okay. All right. All right. So, like, when you say, when I grow up, I want to be... <laughs> An armor. Yeah. I, I, I want to produce... Okay. At one time, you would have been really, really busy. But this is really cool that people can do this and appreciate what it takes to put it all together. All right. So, okay. what I'm going to get you to do for me is we're going to set this rivet. And right there a little tight sometimes. What's most different about this today compared to some there of the historical pieces you've seen? Uh, this one is shiny. Yeah, the other ones are <laughs> the other ones yeah, are well, little, well used there. Old. All right, so now that we're set, we're gonna take our little washer, if I can get it. Slip it up on there. Okay. And I'll just take this. It really took... And if you'd hold that for me, Athletes, if you will, right to there. really just hold it right underneath there. Right on top. Okay, right on top. All right. It took athletes to really pull there this off. Right there. Because these things could weigh quite a bit, can't they? They can. A full suit would weigh about 60 pounds. Clearly, I don't think you should use me as your assistant, <laughs> which all can't see is I'm not doing this right, right here. Well, it's okay. okay. A full suit can weigh, you said, what, about 60 pounds? About 60 pounds. So it makes you kind of appreciate in, like, whatever the, the temperature was at the time and then what somebody had to do to really carry something like this off in yeah, battle. Yeah, it gets a little heavy, but it's a little lighter over there. Not lighter. Uh, cooler over there yeah. than it is here in Houston. Yeah, if you were fighting that battle here in Houston, it would have been All a right. lot tougher. I'll go ahead and do the second okay. one here. All right. And so how long does it take you from beginning to end on an average, um, and I, I don't think you really can call them average, but your, your average project? Uh, it can go anywhere from a month to multiple months, depending on uh, what exactly it is that we're working on. A lot of different projects and a lot of different pieces. Yeah. So now that we're strapped up, I'm just going to grab this piece here. And we'll out the arm. I did this piece last night so we'd have something to look at. So at one time this was like a utilitarian type thing, but today it's actually like a piece of art, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. All right, so we know like yeah. things like the Renaissance there Festival are, are coming up, and so is this something that you do there as well or for them as it well? It is. And you can see it moves real fluid. It shouldn't bite you at all. Oh, look at that right there. You can play with it. It's all right. And I can see here that if you make me upset, I have things like <laughs> this is pretty cool. Go get them, yeah. right? You know what? I, I think I'm going to order one of these from you um, during the Christmas season when I go shopping. That sounds good. Because, <laughs> you know, it's every woman for herself, right? <laughs> so this would be pretty cool. you got to tear them you, up. Yes, yes, yes. You need a suit of armor. Thank you very much. Oh, this is you. so cool. To learn more about Azure Armory, you can visit GreatDayHouston.com.